Today we're going to see what happens if we boil a small pot of clear Elmer's glue. Elmer's glue, a classic adhesive staple. This is the clear version. It's not the kind you see quite as commonly, I feel like, in schools. Normally you see the white Elmer's glue. Unless you're making slime, which I'm pretty sure is why these now come in gallon buckets is just so many people have used to make slime. We've used Fair. it to make slime quite a bit, in fact. That's why we had a few gallons of it. Here's the basic idea. We've got two gallons of Elmer's glue and several experiments we want to try. What happens if we mix it with dry ice? What happens if we boil a pot of it away? How thick of a layer of glue can we really build up on our hand? First off, I think we can play around with this dry ice. Yep, I think that was the original idea, it was just dry ice and Elmer's glue. What would happen? Well, that's one way to do it. Yeah, but I had more fun doing it. The nice thing about dry ice is it just disappears. So if it gets into like corners of the room, you're just like, that's fine. fine. Ready? Go! It runs it right off the sides. It. Oh, very uh, vapory though. Now, do you think it's gonna bubble or do you think it's gonna trap? I was kind of thinking the dry ice might even float. For, but I was thinking it was gonna freeze the glue. Oh, I bet it gets there. So we are getting fun bubbles that then pop. Uh huh. This is pretty fun. It does make good bubbles, and then just you can see they're white. And then oh, I just that one had a bubble inside another bubble. I'm gonna see what happens if I if I put some on top. Will it sink? It sinks right It does, right in fact. Down. It sunk right under and started adding more vapor. <laughs> Not terribly cold. 54-ish. So I have some stir sticks, but I'm intentionally not stirring it because it's fun mm -hmm. to see how the green swirls itself around. Yeah, it's traveling there. Very frozen to the bottom. Well, personally, I think this looks very cool. It does. But I want to be able to see more of it, so we do have our glass container. I like and we can it. try the same thing. Quite a bit more glue. I do wonder if it's all going to freeze once it hits. Yeah, at some point, yeah, I, I suspect a lot of, or a lot of the time when you put dry ice into water, it like forms an ice shell just around the dry ice. True. So maybe we'll get some of that happening. All right, what do you think? Should I just pour the rest of this gallon in? Yeah, go for it. Already it's amazing. That looks so cool from the side. I'm thrilled. Pretty entertaining. Just the glue is thick enough, it just slows it down some, and you can just watch it glub, glub, glubbing up big bubbles surrounded by tiny bubbles. I kind of wonder if after a while there would just be so many tiny bubbles. Yeah, it's getting hard to see as it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, weird! It's over on this side. It's like a creature. Falling past and getting, now it's just getting pulled back. So that's why I did one drop, because mm -hmm. I thought it would cycle pretty well. And it definitely is getting cycled a lot. One drop was more than I needed. It does still smell like glue. This is fun. This is good. That's a cool effect. And it does seem to last a decent amount of time. All right, this has now been sitting here for, I don't know, 15-ish, 20 minutes total. And so I'm gonna pour the glue off and I wanna see like what result we have. Do we have frozen glue around the dry ice? What's happening in this? I think we've got a layer of frozen glue that's formed around most of the dry ice here. So you can see this, this right here. It's frozen, it's not the dry ice itself, that's the glue. So it definitely is still making that frozen shell around it. And it's probably led to the bubbles slowing down considerably. And now we've got our very bubbly glue over here. We now want to see what happens if we boil full pot of this it, glue. It sounds like it's boiling behind us already. It does sound like that. But That's a nice not. blub blub glubbing noise. So I'm wondering <laughs> if we're gonna get a similar bubbling effect from heat instead of cold. Let's find out. My other fear is that when it starts to boil, it, it will bubble everywhere. a lot. So that's pretty good, I think. We'll, uh, we'll give it some heat and we'll see what happens to it. We'll, we'll decide in a bit if we want to stir or just let it sit. I wonder if it's like cooking full of bubbles and like that's rising up. So once it's up to the top, we can investigate a little more. If you've ever wanted to stick your entire hand into glue, which I know you have. I have, guys, I really have. It's a weird thing. But now I get to try it and see what happens. Not much, hopefully. Ew, 
Oh, don't kid, you enjoy it. Okay, no, it feels like corn syrup though, to be entirely honest. It feels like my hand is just coated in corn syrup. That makes some sense. It does. My hand looks larger now. It also makes sense though. All right, we're gonna try to make a glue glove. Low heat. I've decided I am going to stir this. Mostly because it got to a point where you can't really see anything. Oh, it is warm, okay. I can't feel it through the glue. Yep. So I'm gonna be very careful because otherwise I could accidentally cook my hand without realizing it. And I keep going up to my uncovered skin to test where I'm at with heat to make sure I'm not burning myself. I like this little streak. I know. I'm flying <laughs> just like, <laughs> yeah. Spreading everywhere. <laughs> so we've got some like burned gooey stuff that kind of scraped off of the bottom of the pot. I've also turned it down to like two. You might need to turn it back up because I, I got nervous there for a second. Ooh. That was a new noise. So far I gotta say, not much is really happening here. It's just a little too thin to really notice. Well, when you have white Elmer's glue and it dries, it turns clear. It does. And when you have clear Elmer's glue and, and you, you cook, cook it, it, it turns white. But who knows what would happen if you tried to cook white Elmer's glue, for all we know. How's your glove? High five. Glue? No. <laughs> it's mostly, for the most part, it's dry, but there's some spots you touch and you're just like, oh no, that's still sticky. Do you think you can peel it off? I don't know. I'm on coat three, guys, and this is taking quite a bit of time, so I'm gonna attempt to pull it off now and see what, how many pieces it comes off in. The pot, we basically have a dried layer of glue so all cool. the way around. You can see that it's just like, surrounding the glue, all the way, like you can peel it away from the wall of the pot a little bit. And it's not terribly strong, so as I do that, like, oh, a hole forms and it leaks out a little bit. But I, I think what we're gonna do is pour out this glue and then see what that skin is up to. I like it. And uh, see what happens to this glue as it cools down as well. There we go. All right, this is much less satisfying than I wanted it to be because it is coming apart in pieces because it's not fully dry. So basically what I've done is I've created a horrid mess for myself and no one is surprised. This right here is the mold of Callie's hand. Oh good, that'll we're going work to, We're gonna pour the glue into the mold and I think it will probably just cool down and be gloopy glue again. And that'll be fun to clean up, but we're just gonna try pouring it in anyway and see what happens. I thought I'd be able to peel it off in one piece. The answer is no. Maybe if I'd been a little bit more patient and like painted the layers off. Now I'm starting to get like claustrophobic and panicked about the fact that I can't get my hand out of this nearly fast enough. So I'm just really kind of losing my mind here and it's really freaking me out a little bit. You know, normal things. It dissolves in water, you'll be okay. Fear be going to the sink. I didn't really think that one through. Well, I'm just trying to peel it out. Like I poured it onto the cookie sheet. But... We'll give this sheet at least a little bit to cool down. And once it's cool, we'll take a look at it. I think it's probably just gonna end up as like a thicker paste type texture. But I do wanna see, and if it does turn into anything more than just thick liquid, I'm very curious to see what will happen with the hand mold as well. Because maybe cooking it like that has removed enough moisture that it will kind of set. We'll find out. We let things go a little longer than overnight. Uh, we actually let things sit for about a week and a half because oh, overnight not much happened. So we gave it some more time. We did. Um, so here is some that we just poured out onto foil. This 
is delightful. Have you ever just wanted a giant sheet of glue plastic? I haven't, but now I have one anyway. <laughs> this is what came out of the pot that we had boiled? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. This did not solidify at all. Oh, even the top didn't. I wonder if it has something to do with the fact that we added so much color to it. It feels thicker. Mm -hmm. This one's a trampoline. So that one, we poured glue all over dry, and then we left it outside, and it did get rained on. Yeah. So like there was glue and water. What we ended up with is like, yeah, there's, there's glue on the bottom of the bowl, and then there's a layer about a centimeter above that that's also nice and smooth, but in between it's just air. There's nothing, nothing there's, there. So I kind of wonder if like there was water and glue and it separated and then part of it dried and the water evaporated or something. I don't know what happened. We just left it outside for a while and this is what we got. So it's kind of neat. How about you show us what's in your hand mold? Well, this stuff on the outside is pretty nice and solid. Hmm. <laughs> it's now pouring glue. Oh, gooey, 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 gooey. Completely gooey. That's going to take some Run in a bathtub out. for a while to clean. So casting Elmer's glue, not so much. No, doesn't really work. Uh, this, weirdly enough, so this one is like nothing, but this one has started to dry. It has like a, there you go. a skin on the top of it. Pretty. So like this part here isn't sticky. The underside is sticky, but it's not like as sticky as that. So <laughs> also not cured on the top. So I'm thinking the dry ice does something to it. Well, this had a lot of dry ice in it, and I think that one had a lot of dry ice in it, so and that one had dry one. ice in it. Now I'm doing this just because you got to, and I didn't, and now I'm curious. Do you remember how long it took me to clean my hand off? Nope. I'm not gonna tell you. Wow, the refractive properties of this glass combined with the glue. My hand looks enormous, <laughs> like a Hulk fist in there. It's really weird because I'm seeing your hand from a profile, so your pinky looks like a normal size, but the rest of your hand is gigantic, and it's odd. It's a weird thing to say, but if you've never tried it, you should try it once. It's worth it. <laughs> Maybe get some friends and you can all try it at the same time so you're not wasting too much glue. <laughs> Guys, that's not all. You know, we've always got more for you to see. And if you like this kind of chaos, remember to hit that box down at the bottom to subscribe so you never miss out on the fun. And we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.